Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's video, I got a little experiment going on here. Uh, I thought I'd share with uh, you guys. And for those of you that are new to this channel, um, this is an attraction motor. So um, it's all steel. There's there's no magnets, only electromagnets. Um, this is just mild steel. These are mild steel rings that I cut. Um, those of you that uh, have been watching my channel for a while have seen this on quite a few different things. Um, this is one of my one of my favorite little motors and um, it has a Hall effect circuit so it has Hall effects timing so you can see the two little magnets um, we have a MOSFET and then this actually has um, two different outputs but we're just using the primary output so um, coming in we're using 25 volts from the power supply um, I have it set at 5 amps um, and then it just comes through here and hooks up to the motor red and black and then on the output side Every time this motor turns on and off, um, we get a high voltage spike and this collects it. It's going to go right down here uh, into this big cap dump. I have it set up for 36 volt triggering. And um, this one, this is a 10,000 microfarads at 80 volts. So there's four of these. So you're 40,000 on there. And then a MOSFET. And um, yeah, I have these on my site. You guys seen these quite a few times so then we have the voltmeter here so you can watch the cap dump and then this is the voltage on this battery right here so these are two in series for for 24 volts and um, yeah so uh, what we're gonna do is I was doing some experiments and this little coil uh, because the the core kind of goes through here and um, I've been doing experiments putting coils on here and it's um, kind of interesting so Let's um, fire this up. So here's a waveform. So it's pretty fast. This is on 10 milliseconds. And uh, yeah, runs really nice. So you can see right here, see the cap dump charging up. So yeah, with no load, it, it charges pretty nicely. Almost 4 amps every discharge at 36 volts. So what I've been experimenting with is these little coils and you know this is just one but we could always put more than one. So as I get close to the steel here, let's get this hook back up. So yeah, as we get close to the steel, so wire. Try that one more time. There you go. So you can see the motor doesn't really change anything and um, you get extra power from it which is really cool so what happens is you know there's no magnet so if you put it by the rotor nothing happens you put it by the steel and every time this is turning off it's making a fucker situation in the magnetic field so uh, this has a steel core in it so it just transmits right into this core and it uh, makes an oscillation happen. And it's pretty neat. So now let's see. So what I want to do now is let's put this fan on here. Act as a load. So we can kind of try it in a different scenario here. So now we're using more power. Uh, this is charging much faster. And um, you see that slow down under load. We'll hook this baby back up. Look at even brighter. So you could hear a tone change in the motor a little bit, but you know, it's not using any more power. Cap dump's still working. So yeah, some definitely needs to be looked into. These attraction motors are pretty cool. So anywhere on the steel. Doesn't matter which side, and um, yeah. You need, so, what you could do is let's um, let's turn this off so we get whacked here, and take the scope off the motor. Let's bring this around here. So 
So instead of the light bulb, let's just took up the scope so you can see the waveform looks like. So now we'll be able to see the waveform on the scope. So, so there it is. Is it closer or farther? So yeah. Similar to the motor, right? Pretty neat. And if you put it, like I said, if you put it to the rotor, you get almost nothing. And then as you run down the steel here your output so this is completely isolated free energy coming right off the side of it which is really cool and um, yeah so you can put one two three and try to put four on there and see what happens so neat thanks for watching <laughs>